Yeah, Philip, because the storm is expected to be so huge and so catastrophic, that really added to the urgency today or this morning, I should say. The 16-member team from the L.A. County Fire Department, they left here just about 4.30 this morning after packing up all night. They're on their way to Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, they got the order to deploy last night around 9.30, so they were able to organize and pack everything up in about seven hours. They were given the deployment order likely because of their training in swift water rescue. That is going to be key as Hurricane Florence picks up steam right now, carrying winds of up to 140 miles per hour as a Category 4 storm, but expected to strengthen into a Cat 5 today. It is forecast to close in on the Carolinas Thursday, hitting a stretch of coastline that is vulnerable to rising sea levels. So they've packed medical supplies, food, and water to be self-sufficient for at least 72 hours, along with inflatable boats for those rescues. Once they get there, they're going to get a briefing, and uh, once they're given the task, they're going to go and do whatever task is, is, uh, is asked of them. Our California Task Force Team 2 um, are going to be traveling by ground, uh, and they're going to get there as soon as possible. Now, this is a 16-member team made up of Swift Water Rescue teams. In addition to this team, there are also teams from L.A. City Fire and Orange County Fire Authority Urban Search and Rescue Task Force heading out east as well. Now, this team, as you heard, will be driving nonstop all the way to Raleigh. They are going to be rotating drivers just to make sure that they don't have to make any unnecessary stops and they don't waste any time. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.